Hello, I'm Robbie Ellis and welcome to Introductions in the Community, live from Polk Brothers Park at Navy Pier. And we have an audience. They are enjoying the sunshine and the light breeze on this lovely Saturday. Uh, people waving. I am on the lake stage in Polk Brothers Park, right on the Chicago lakefront. Thank you to Navy Pier for hosting us today. And if you are listening and nearby, come on down to Navy Pier. We'll be going until 12 midday. I'd love to see you here. If you're listening on the radio or you're watching the video live on WFMT.com or YouTube or Facebook, well, you might hear some seagulls or some foghorns in the background. That is all part of the fun of today. Uh, but what you're going to hear in the foreground is five talented teenage musicians. Introductions is a weekly show on classical WFMT, 98.7 FM and WFMT.com, and it features the Chicago area's finest pre-college classical musicians. What a celebration we have today. Later on, I'm going to welcome return guests Louis and Henry Ozonfon to the stage. They're brothers. They play clarinet and violin, respectively. But right now, fresh off winning the silver medal in the junior wind division of the Fischoff National Chamber Music Competition, it's the Incendio Saxophone Trio. Uh, from audiences left to right, we have uh, Zachary Solomon on alto saxophone, Emma Phillips on baritone saxophone, and Alexander Brachilo on soprano saxophone. They're going to begin today's concert with the music of Jean Francais, a French composer born in 1912. He first had a piece published at the age of 10, and he basically didn't stop writing for another 75 years after that. Very productive composer. The Incendio Saxophone Trio is going to play two movements from his Divertissement, or Diversion, uh, 1947 work. Here are Alex Pricciolo, Zach Solomon, and Emma Phillips, live on Introductions. Thank <laughs> you. 
Two movements, Allegretto Assai and the Scherzo Finale from the Divertissement for Wind Trio by Jean Francais, arranged for saxophone trio by Matt Fowler. You heard the Incendio saxophone trio. All three of them are high schoolers. They go to Victor J. Andrew and Carl Sandberg High Schools in the southwest suburbs, and they're coached by Brian Palacek. Over the next hour, I'll talk to all three of them, welcoming first to the microphone, the soprano saxophone player, Alexander Prochilo. Alex, welcome to Introductions. Thank you. Nice Thank you. Uh, so how long has this group been together? Uh, we first started together in uh, mid-August of last year, 2021. And yeah, we've been together since. Me and Zach were in a trio before that. Uh, we just probably a year before that, so like August of 2020. And uh, explain yeah. the name Incendio. Yeah, so we wanted to uh, showcase a name that kind of like influ or that showed our like like how we played, and uh, you'll hear that in some of our like later pieces. That was a little bit lighter, but like uh, some of the pieces that we're uh, going to play are a little more intense and more just F powerful. Fiery. So yeah, inferno or incendio, like fire. Yeah. Um, yeah. Incendiary. Uh, so a saxophone, I understand, is not your only instrument. Um, I also play, um, I could play piano a little bit, I do that, um, and then soprano is what I do for the trio, and then when I'm in my concert band, in my jazz band, I play alto saxophone. Um, yeah. Yeah. And uh, could you introduce what piece you're going to play next? Yes, we will be playing uh, Dvorak's Cavatina, um, arranged by Katerina Pavlakova. Uh, uh, that was arranged in 2018 for sex one true because it is originally written for two violins and a viola, so. Well, thank you so much, Alex Prochilo. We're going to hear one of uh, Dvorak's romantic pieces, the Cavatina, uh, played by the Incendio Saxophone Trio, live on introductions in the community.
some Czech music arranged by a Czech arranger, a cavatina from Antonín Dvořák's romantic pieces. The arranger was Katarzyna Pavlikova, and it was played by the Incendio saxophone trio, made up of one soprano, one alto, and one baritone saxophone. And on the lake stage at Polk Brothers Park in Streeterville, I invite the baritone sax player, Emma Phillips, to come close to the microphone. Emma, welcome to Introductions. Thank you for having me. So Us. glad to have you. Uh, so I understand you're a bit of an accidental saxophonist, a uh, saxidental maybe. Yeah. When, when I was going into my freshman year of high school, I was not sure that I wanted to be a part of band. And with a little convincing, I ended up in band. And same thing my freshman year, I wanted to I wasn't really sure if I wanted to participate in my school's jazz band. And with a lot of encouragement from my family, who happens to be a music family, I ended up in jazz. And I really enjoy it. That's fantastic. Uh, Career-wise, what are you thinking? Music or something else? I'm not currently thinking music, but I would love to be a criminal lawyer. I'm leaning towards prosecution at the moment. So. Well. Uh Get that lawyer money and donate it <laughs> yeah. to music. Yes. 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 All right. Very good. <laughs> yes. uh, so I'm going to have you introduce this next piece. Uh, for those who are up on their uh, late 2000s pop music, I think this uh, first theme might be familiar. Absolutely. We, we will be playing the a Lady Gaga fugue composed by Giovanni de Tori, arranged by Katerina Pavlikova. And this takes a more classical spin on the famous Lady Gaga song, Bad Romance. Let's hear it, the Incendio saxophone trio. Thank you, Emma Phillips. We're going to hear Emma on baritone, plus Alex Prochilo on soprano, and Zach Solomon on alto sax, live on introductions. La, la, ooh, la, la, that motif from Lady Gaga's Bad Romance. Giovanni de Tori arranged it into the Lady Gaga Fugue. Uh, it was arranged for sax trio by Katarzyna Pavlikova and performed today by the Incendio saxophone trio, Alexander Prochilo on soprano sax, Zachary Solomon on alto, Emma Phillips on baritone. They attend Victor J. Andrew High School in Tinley Park and Carl Sandburg High School in Orland Park, and they're coached by Brian Palacek. I'm Robbie Ellis. You are listening to a slightly windy 
introductions in the community on Classical WFMT. Navy Pier is hosting this remote broadcast today. We're at Polk Brothers Park at Navy Pier, the People's Pier, Chicago's lakefront treasure and the most visited destination in the Midwest. There's Lake Michigan about 20 feet behind me and uh, WFMT team members George Preston, Tim Russell and Fatima Daba have been handing out WFMT swag. Audience, who's got their t-shirt and beach balls? Yes. And by the way, if you are merely listening on the radio, you can also tune in to watch this as a live video. Go to wfmt.com slash introductions and you can watch us. The Incendio saxophone trio will be back later in the show, but for now we'll hear from Louis and Henry Ozonfong. They are brothers. First, Louis as he steps onto the lake stage here at Polk Brothers Park. Uh, Louis Ozonfong is a principal clarinetist in Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestras and last year he won the CYSO Concerto Competition, which means he got to play most of Mozart's clarinet concerto with the orchestra. He's a clarinet student of Kai Yun Lu and also a pretty decent pianist. A year and a half ago, he and his brother Henry recorded a recital for this very show, Introductions, and in that recital, Louis played both clarinet and piano. We just heard a fugue inspired by Johann Sebastian Bach, and now we're going to hear an homage to that composer. This one's written by the Hungarian Béla Kovács, composer and clarinetist. He called this solo piece simply Homage to J.S. Bach. Louis Ozonfon, live from Navy Pier on Introductions.
You just heard Louis Ozonfonds, 17 years old, playing a solo clarinet work by Bela Kovac, the homage to Johann Sebastian Bach. He's on the lake stage at Polk Brothers Park at Navy Pier, and I've invited him to the microphone now, as well as his younger brother, Henry. Louis Ozonfonds, welcome back to Introduction. Thank you so much for having me. So glad that you're here. Welcome back, of course, because you were most recently on playing Mozart's Clarinet Concerto with CYSO, Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestras, and uh, you did a brotherly recital with Henry, who we'll hear from in a second. Uh, but speaking of CYSO, uh, you weren't on their recent Europe tour playing the Vienna Musikverein and all of that, because uh, you had a bit of an interesting opportunity here in Chicago, right? Yeah, so um, this summer I'm working for a, a University of Chicago economist, Professor John List, who is actually shortlisted for a Nobel Prize in 2015. And his uh, research area is, is very much experimental economics, so he uses kind of uh, experiments you might see in medicine with randomized control trials to test things in such areas as like healthcare, uh, education, gender disparities, um, and so on. And so what that work has been has been really um, trying to analyze um, his data he's generated from his experiments, critique some of his papers, um, conduct literature reviews, and that has been really rewarding. So you've got great clarinet skills, great cl piano skills, and great Big data skills, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's fascinating what you're up to. Um, so you need to go change clarinets because there's a B flat and an A you got to swap between. But at this point, I will invite Henry to the microphone. Henry Ozonfon is uh, 15 years. 15? Is that right? Yeah, 15. Yeah. 15, yes. Louis's younger brother uh, was also on introductions a year and a half ago. And uh, what's, what's coming up for you, Henry? I understand that you too will be playing a solo with Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestras. Oh yeah, so this year I've had the pleasure of winning the 2022 Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra Concerto Competition. Congrats. And so as a result, I will be playing the whole Glasgow Violin Concerto at Symphony Center on November 20th. Everybody is welcome. November 20th. So I, this I think I have a concert that date, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So this concerto is very lyrical and romantic, but it's also very um, technically demanding for the violinist, and it's also very energetic. S so this piece has a very special meaning to me because my violin teacher, Frank Almond played this piece for the legendary violinist Itzhak Perlman at Juilliard. And so whenever I play this piece, I think of that moment, and it's very meaningful for me. And uh, you're about to play a solo piece for us now, because we don't have a full orchestra yeah. here. Uh, it's by Fritz Kreisler. Tell us about what you're going to play. Yeah, so Fritz Kreisler was an Austrian-American violinist and composer who lived from 1875 to 1962. And he was regarded as one of the best violinists in his day, and he had a very recognizable sound. So he wrote this piece, the recitativo and scherzo caprice, in 1911 for his good friend, um, the legendary king of violin, Eugene Zai. And so this piece has two very distinct elements. The recitativo, which is a very cadenza-like section where the violinist can express their individuality along with their emotions and feelings. And the second part, the scherzo, is a very energetic, lively, and fun part, which I can't wait to share with you all. The recitativo and scherzo caprice. Thank you so much, Henry Ozonfall. I'll let you take your place at the instrument mic. 15 years old, playing the music of Fritz Kreisler, live from Navy Pier on Introductions in the Community.
15-year-old Henry Ozonfant with the recitative and scherzo caprice of Fritz Kreisler, the legendary Austrian-American violinist. Uh, we are live at Navy Pier today featuring two musical brothers from the South Loop. They're both principal players in Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestras. They both attend the University of Chicago Lab Schools as well. Henry Ozonfant on violin and his older brother Louis Ozonfant on clarinet. Uh, Louis come back on the stage now. They're going to play a brotherly duet. Not too many pieces for violin and clarinet, but they've found a good number of them. Uh, this is by Adolf Busch from his House Musik set, or How Music for the House. Here's the finale from Busch's duet number two Henry Ozonfant on violin, Louis Ozonfant on clarinet. Live on introductions.
Louis and Henry Ozonfong on a return visit to introductions. These two brothers, 17 and 15 from the South Loop, playing uh, the finale of Adolf Busch's duet number two for violin and clarinet from his house music suite, Music from the Home. This is Introductions in the Community live today from the Lake Stage in Polk Brothers Park at Navy Pier in Streeterville in Chicago in Cook County in Illinois in the United States in the universe. And we've got a live audience on the lawn today. Make some noise. We have been giving away some swag, some t-shirts and some beach balls and we are joined by divvy bikers and uh, pleasure craft and boats and foghorns and the Ferris wheel behind me. It is a lovely Saturday in Chicago. Just to let you know that Introductions is sponsored by John Norwood Lee Bowes, serving the Chicago area for more than 40 years. Introductions is also made possible through the generous support of the Nagorni Foundation, the Kippart Family Foundation, the Steve and Dolores Sarovich Foundation, and the listener supporters of classical WFMT, some of whom are present in the audience today. And we're also grateful to Navy Pier for hosting us today at Polk Brothers Park. As a mission-driven non-profit, Navy Pier hosts more than 250 free arts and cultural programs annually. Back on stage now is the Incendio saxophone trio. We heard from them earlier. The three of them are all juniors uh, going on to be seniors in the southwest suburbs of Chicago, and they're going to play a few more pieces. Two in a row now. First, there is a Czech Charleston. Erwin Schulhoff was a prominent composer in Prague between World War I and World War II, an exciting time for the arts in the newly independent Czechoslovakia. His divertissement is made up of multiple movements. There's a burlesque, a romancero. There's even a movement called Florida, appropriate for a sunny day like today. And first, we're going to hear the Charleston dance from his divertissement. And after that, there's some Brazilian music. Composer Eitor Villa-Lobos wrote a trio for oboe, clarinet, and bassoon. And we'll hear the movement labeled Vif, or Lively. Both of these movements have been arranged for the Incendio saxophone trio by Matt Fowler. The players are Alexander Prochilo on soprano saxophone, Zachary Solomon on alto, and Emma Phillips on baritone. You're listening to Introductions. Take it away. Thank <laughs> you. 
The Incendio Saxophone Trio, two different pieces from the 1920s, live at Navy Pier today. You just heard the Vif movement, or lively, from the trio of Brazilian composer Eitor Villa Lobos, and before that, a Charleston by Czech composer Erwin Schulhoff. And I'm going to talk to one of the members of the Incendio Saxophone Trio, the last remaining member, Zachary Solomon, plays alto sax. He took quite a solo in that last piece, and he's at the microphone now. Zach Solomon, welcome to Introductions. Thank you. It's great to be here. Thank you. So, um, yes, I love how you have turned up in matching red polos today and uh, matching black, black shorts and white shoes. Uh, honestly, it looks like the three of you are ready to lead an architecture tour on one of these boats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we probably could, being yeah. that, yeah. Little known tour guide fact, Navy Pier is named after the US Navy. <laughs> it's obvious. Uh, so, yeah, you're, all three of you are pretty sporty, but uh, you, you play a good number of sports, right? I do, yeah. Um, I'm a golfer, I run, and I play soccer. So, cool. yeah. And uh, th this trio, you've had competition success uh, at the Fish Off competition in South Bend recently. And you're, you're keeping going into the next school year. You've got some engagements coming up, right? That's true, yeah. Actually, we found out a couple months ago that our trio has made the Midwest Clinic. Um, and we're going there in December. And we're very excited. It's an amazing opportunity. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be preparing for that all through. That, that's a decently long set, like a 45-minute set or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, very long set. We, we're usually used to pref, uh, preparing at least 20 minutes of music. Now we have to bump it up to 60 minutes. So we have a lot of music to prepare in the next couple months. Well, best of luck to you. You seem very well prepared. Thank you. Uh, so there's one last piece remaining in today's concert before we hand it back to La Rob in the studio. And it is by a composer who lives across the water behind us and then inland a little bit. Uh, Chris Haas is from Michigan, and uh, you've worked with the composer, I believe. We have, yeah. A couple months ago, he hopped on a Zoom call with us, and we did a coaching on the, the next piece we're about to play. It was, it was great working with him. He gave us so much more insight on the piece that we hadn't realized already. It was just, yeah, it was a treat. And the piece is called Liquid Metal uh, by Chris Haas. Zach Solomon, thank you so much. Thank I'll you. let you get back to the microphone. And uh, everyone, thanks for joining us at Polk Brothers Park today, live on Introductions. Thank you. 
A piece written just last year, Liquid Metal by Michigan composer Chris Haas, taking inspiration from the unpredictability of the COVID-19 pandemic. It was performed by the Incendio saxophone trio. Give another round of applause for all five performers in today's concert. I'll invite Louis and Henry Ozonfant back to the stage as well. The Incendio saxophone trio was Alex Prochilo on soprano sax, Zach Solomon on alto sax, Emma Phillips on baritone sax, and also there was Louis Ozonfant on clarinet and his brother Henry Ozonfant on violin. And that is it for today's introductions in the community, live from the Lake Stage at Polk Brothers Park in Navy Pier. I'd like to thank the good folk who work for Navy Pier, Dylan Hankey and Miguel Alfaro from the Arts, Culture and Engagement Department, Mike Kinder and Sean Jensen from the Tech Crew, and Felicia Bolton and Nick Puglia from Marketing. Also, shout out to the WFMT side, George Preston, Timothy Russell and Fatima Daba. They've been working hard giving away WFMT goodies at Navy Pier today. The broad, yes, the audience got some of them earlier. The broadcast engineer was Erica Runas. The venue audio engineer was Mike Yehudi. The video producer was Max LeBien. And as a reminder, you will be able to watch this concert back on WFMT's Facebook and YouTube, and also at WFMT.com slash introductions. There is a complete playlist there. Also, a giant thank you to the audience who came out on this lovely Saturday on the lawn in Polk Brothers Park. Please feel free to stick around and meet the performers afterwards. And if you're not here in person, thank you for everyone listening on the radio or watching on YouTube, Facebook, and WFMT.com. I'm producer and presenter Robbie Ellis. This has been Introductions in the Community. Have a great afternoon.